Okay, so we're starting out on the gold GIR series. Um, this was started over three, yeah, three years ago. I uh, didn't really know I was doing YouTube at the time. I took a lot of photos, but not a lot of video. So the first video is just going to be flicking through all those photos with audio over the back. Uh, sorry, it's not what I normally put out, but um, to understand the story of this car, I think it would be good to um, to see all those photos and sort of hear what we originally did with it. And yeah, have a look. And then um, we'll get into a bit more content as I started filming things. Um, but yeah, going to do a little series on our gold GIR. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, we've come a long way with it over the last three years. Uh, the project definitely stagnated um, after I got my vaccine and it almost killed me. But yeah. Um, yeah, it is what it is. We got back into it in the end, and you'll uh, you get to see all the progress we made. Cheers for that. prominent vacuum leak that's what will be making it run rough After getting the GIR going, um, I then proceeded to have to go and look for the shim that was missing from the engine, and I basically took the bottom sump off, couldn't find it there, so I started to investigate the head. I stripped the head down, took the head off the car, and uh, found a half-broken shim that I was looking for in there. So I took the head to Dick at High Tech Motors, who decked the head for me and hot tanked it. I then reassembled it with new valve stem seals and redid all the shims inside the head, all the shim tolerances, put a new head gasket on, bought a Cosworth 1.5mm head gasket and um, secured everything back down, refitted the head. While I was doing that I also cross drilled all of the brackets that came off the car and repainted them all, uh, gave it that 1940s drag racing feel. Uh, just thought I'd give the engine bay a bit of a theme and all the engine mounts were ripped and torn so I pulled those off and poured urethane into them and solid mounted them uh, to give the car a, uh, a bit more of a rugged feel. Now unfortunately someone had um, got rid of the front and back stabilizers for the motor, they'd replaced it with one solid mount on the back so I took that off, got the rust off it, the urethane that mount as well and um, refitted that, pulled the distributor off, polished the distributor, replaced the dizzy cap and um, rotating cap inside there. Then I started cleaning all the wiring up. So the wiring was a mess, it had an old Link G1 fitted to it. Uh, so I started going through all of that and cleaning all of that up and um, yeah, did the uh, cam timing, fitted a new water pump. Um, mucked around with a whole bunch of brackets, so I took some of the heavier brackets off and put on alloy brackets, had them all made, I was just mucking around with that, um, saving 2-3 kilo per bracket type of thing. And then, um, yeah, so I started to get it all back together, put the intake plenum back on, um, the front clip, um, the bottom side where the radiator sits, that was a little bit rusty, so I gave that a good hit with the angle grinder, um, rust killed it all, repainted it with a can that was as close to the paint that was, I could get at the time. Um, started to reassemble everything, decided I didn't really like the front mount and the setup that was on it, it was all um, pretty small but I just have to do for now because I wanted to see if the car would run. I then pulled the carpet back inside the cabin and um, found there was a little bit of rust under there so before that sort of um, took off I did the same thing, angle grounded it all back and rust killed it and then repainted under the carpets just to um, clean everything up for no dodgy surprises later on. Put the whole car back together, polished everything, put a whole bunch of new parts on it, um, painted a whole bunch of stuff in the engine bay as well just to really tidy it up again. Then I um, wet vac the whole interior and also put a racing bucket seat into it. 
um, and a stock factory seat back in the front and a new steering wheel. Um, I then pressure tested the whole system and found that the RB25 DET uh, throttle body had a major leak out the side of it and I bought three more off trade me and they all had that same leak. Now I could have just gone and bought a rebuild kit for them um, but at that point I kind of um, you know just had enough of it and uh, I thought yeah I'll just replace it with a larger throttle body. Um, I'll just get it going the way it is. So put it back together um, then I moved one way to the back of the car and found that there was some rust in behind the tail light it was actually quite significant uh, eventually you probably need to cut that out and replace it with some patch panels but um, I cut most of it out with the um, angle grinder and rust killed it all and primed it and treated it the best I could in behind the light and in front of it um, so yeah that's all stopped rusting but yeah I do know that this is there and it does bother me a little bit from there the car was Back together again, it was actually looking half decent, some primer panels, um, front guards were a little bit worse for wear, but yeah, at least it was back together again and uh, and running properly for the first time in a long time. Um, and then, yeah, the final photos here you see are of the car at one of the car shows that I went to and, um, and saw it at back, when must have been 2006, and then the GDIR um, feature it had in Rev Magazine. Um, so... It was a bit of a popular car back when it was, you know, in the circuit. Supposedly did a 10.9 second quarter mile down at uh, down at Masterton Dragway. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, I'd like to try and repeat that. So that's why I didn't part this car and I just kept on going with it because it wasn't a pretty sorry state when I got my hands on it. Um, I could have quite easily uh, pulled it apart and sent it to GTI Heaven, but um, I persevered with it. So. Um, this is the start to the series and I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed the photos and a little bit of backstory with it and I'll continue in the next videos uh, I actually started filming stuff so um, we'll have half decent content to show you thanks for sticking around don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell um, for the following episodes on this because you want to watch them they're gonna be good